Hello, everyone, and welcome to the final week of our message series, Where Do I Start? For the past seven weeks, we've been talking all about priorities, how they affect our life and week and day to day. And even though there is so much out of control in the world right now, we do have authority over the priorities we choose for ourselves. But that authority doesn't mean we're alone. Your priorities are affected by others too, who you need to be focusing on right now or what you need to be pouring into. It might be your kids or your work or an aging parent, a spouse, or even yourself. And in addition to that, your priorities are also affected by and can be reflective of who you look up to. First Peter 2.21 says, For you have been called for this purpose, since Christ also suffered for you, leaving you an example for you to follow in his steps. When we read or hear from the Gospels, we hear Jesus' story and we hear who he was. And through those Gospels, we can clearly see the priorities Jesus had while he was on earth. His top priorities were his relationship with God, his relationship with others, seeking the lost, healing the broken, and pouring into his followers, and teaching. He found every opportunity he could to help people discover and learn more about his Father. We're called to follow in Jesus' footsteps. He was the example for us, which means his priorities are our priorities. If Jesus is your example, do your priorities align with his? Do you prioritize your time with God? Do you prioritize pouring into those around you, your family, your friends, serving those who you don't know? Look at your calendar, your daily schedule or to-do list. How many items on there align with God's priorities. If none, then add some to it. Jesus came to this earth to show us who we were made to be. His priorities of loving God and others are the foundation of who we are and what we're called to imitate. Jesus is our primary role model, leaving you an example for you to follow in his steps. A role model is defined as a person looked to by others to be imitated. In addition to our heavenly role model, we have plenty of role models in our own lives. When we're young, we constantly look up to others. People always ask you, what do you wanna be when you grow up? Or who do you wanna be? And we look up to professional athletes and dream of being like them one day, or even look up to the college student who comes home on break, thinking of the day that you're at your dream school and have all that freedom. But as adults, we let our responsibilities of everyday life cloud the wonder and importance of looking up. When we take time to reflect on who we admire, we can grow and develop specific priorities in our own lives that are reinforced by experiencing and watching them in someone else's. My mom is my biggest role model. She is my best friend and she is who I strive to be most like in this life. She's the most kind and gentle person I know. She leads every conversation she has with everyone she encounters with love. She is funny and selfless and has this incredible faith that gives her the ability to always see the positive in every situation. She's prioritized her faith and her family and others throughout her entire life. So much so that now it just comes so naturally to her. But a role model might not be your mom or someone close to you. It doesn't have to be. We need people to look up to in all forms. You wanna look up to people you admire that you may not even know. Andy Stanley is the lead pastor of North Point Church in Atlanta. And professionally, he's a role model for me. I look up to him as a speaker. I watch him and was lucky enough to see him in person. And I was captivated. His storytelling, his energy and delivery I'll probably never get a chance to know Andy on a personal level, but he's still a role model to me. So if I wanna be a speaker like Andy, I need to prioritize my practice of speaking like he does. You have role models in your life that have also gone before you in things. If you have young kids, you may look up to another couple who has kids in college. You can turn to them for advice and tips and just that, how did you do it question. You all know my friend Kelly Lippenholtz. She is this for me. She has gone ahead of me in life. She's experienced things I will one day experience. So she's been there for me to ask questions, to give advice and share stories and wisdom. I look up to the kind of friend, 
mother and wife she is. She is who I look ahead to. Some of your peers may be your role models for you. Looking and leaning on people who are in the same stage of life as you, you need them too. You may look up to your coworker, your equal, who has a great work ethic. You may look up to a friend who has great financial planning skills. I have a friend, Megan. We are in the same stage of life right now, and I look up to and admire her constantly. She prioritizes her faith and her friendships in a way that I seek to emulate. Take a good look at the community around you. Who do you admire? Who do you want to imitate? The people we look up to are role models of all kinds, influence and encourage the pursuit of our priorities. Maybe you've never identified that person as your role model per se. You may have seen it more like jealousy, just I wish I could be as financially responsible as them or as faithful or as positive. Maybe you haven't used that word role model since a middle school writing assignment. But I wanna challenge you to try it. Think of the people you most admire in your life and ask yourself why. What about them is what you want to imitate? Not that you're jealous of, but what do you want to intentionally imitate? Now your life won't be a carbon copy of theirs and you don't want it to be. But what about them or their life do you look up to? What priorities do they have that you want to emulate? Name them and you can seek their knowledge. Your role models can be your support and, a, and encouragement. They will help you set and maintain your priorities. And as you work to pursue your priorities, you may end up being that role model for someone else. I mentioned Kelly earlier when I was talking to her about this message, she said to me, I wanna be that for someone someday. And I looked at her like, Kelly, you are that for me. When you live your life according to the priorities God and you have set, you will be someone others seek to imitate. You can share wisdom and guidance. You will be a role model. For you have been called for this purpose, since Christ also suffered for you, leaving you an example for you to follow in his steps. Your priorities reflect your purpose, and our purpose is to follow in his steps. Let me pray for us. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your perfect example. Help us remember to look to you every day as our role model and to look up to those you have placed in our lives to be role models. Be with us each day as we continue to evaluate and commit to the priorities you and we want for our lives. In your name we pray, amen.